Reverse aging sounds too good to be true, right? Probably many of you have heard of Dave Sinclair, the biologist, professor at Harvard, and author of the world's best-selling book, Lifespan. As humans, we all want to stay young and healthy, and it was the same for the ancient people. Almost every emperor in ancient China always ordered the most famous Chinese medicine doctor who exclusively cared for their emperor to find the perfect herb that could grant them eternal life. Consequently, there are many records of Chinese medicine herbal formulas that were used for their kings. The result? They all died. But it wasn't entirely without effort, as they were able to discover some herbs that we still use today. One of these herbs is called Sar Yan Hua. The nickname of this herb is Emperor's Herb, or the herb that can bring life from death. When scientists looked into this herb, they found out that it has a benefit in addressing circulatory issue, anti-aging factor, and anti-cancer properties. And this herb, you'll be surprised. Can you tell me what it is? It's called Dongchung Hacho. It's a certain fungi from dead silkworm. Nowadays, we cultivate this herb at the pharmaceutical companies, but it's incredibly difficult to find it in nature. I remember one of my professors in herbology class, he had this herb, the natural one, in a glass box, and it looked very, very intriguing. Anyways, in Eastern medicine, we use this herb to boost energy for elders, um, patients with chronic illnesses, and to promote circulation. Now, modern science has found out that one of the compounds in this herb, cordyceptin, has anti-cancer and anti-metastatic properties. But today, I want to talk about alpha-ketoglutarate, or AKG, because this compound has shown very interesting results regarding anti-aging. AKG performs vital function in our body. For example, it serves as a fuel for mitochondria which act as an energy factory for our body. Therefore, AKG improves the quality of mitochondrial function and creates a genetic environment for proper DNA expression. According to this study, this compound exhibits anti-aging effect by doing so. To understand this mechanism, you need to remember the term epigenome. But don't worry, I will make it very easy. The epigenome function as a conductor in orchestra for cells. Each cell has the same DNA, but because of the epigenome, they can perform different functions. Depending on what our body needs, by synthesizing different proteins, cells can form stomach tissue, brain tissue, and liver tissues. However, as we get older, this epigenome becomes messy. It's like this. The score plays such a beautiful music but the pianist touches different keys, creating a noise instead of a music. Dave Sinclair claims that the messy epigenome is an important factor in our aging process. As a proof, he shows a skin tissue development in the brain, because that tissue shouldn't be there. AKG plays a role in helping TET, which regulates the activation or deactivation of certain genetic switches. Consequently, this stabilizes epigenome, allowing us to slow down or even reverse aging. Now, there are two types of AKG on the market. A-AKG, which is AKG mixed with the arginine, and calcium AKG, which is a pure AKG. Because A-AKG is more geared um, towards to muscle building, let's shift our focus on the calcium AKG. This study attracts attention because it claims that the participant's biological age was improved by 8 years. Can you imagine being 8 years younger? But let me clarify, biological age here is not the same age as your actual age. They calculate biological age by measuring DNA methylation. So if you're actually 60, but your biological age could be 50 or 70, depending on your health condition. Now, let's delve back to the study. There were 42 participants who took 1 gram per day of calcium AKG for 7 months. After this period, only 2 people showed negative effect, while 40 people showed improvement. Males show an average improvement of 8.44 years, 
while females showed an average improvement of 6.98 years. This study was published in scientific journal Aging in December 2021. The downside of this study was that there were no control group and number of participants was relatively small. However, despite this limitation, because there were no reported side effects and due to my desire for youth, Two of my older family members and I started to taking these supplements about three weeks ago. I plan to continue taking them for seven months like study did and then take a break for about six months before doing another seven month cycle. I consider myself a very healthy person in general. I rarely get sick and haven't got COVID either. But as the number four appeared in my age, I can feel that my body is insane. I noticed that I get sick more often than before, which was red flag for me, and it takes me much longer to recover if I get sick. Oh, another thing I want to mention is the vitamin C. Earlier, I explained how AKG support the TET enzyme to promote the suitable epigenome, right? And this process, vitamin C is also being used. Since our body doesn't produce vitamin C, I think taking vitamin C with AKG will create synergy. As for the side effect, if you're taking anticoagulant medication or blood thinner, you should talk to your doctor before taking AKG. Additionally, because AKG supports mitochondrial activity, it can increase your energy levels. So I advise taking it in the morning or at least before 4 p.m. to ensure AKG doesn't disrupt your sleep. I think AKG is not for everyone, but more for elder people with low energy and a patient with health conditions such as diabetes. Actually, one of my family members is diabetic, so I will give you an update in a couple of months. I hope this video was helpful and remember, healthy is well, so invest in yourself. This is Dr. Shun making health easy for you. See you next time.